Today, I'm talking about part 131, Aleister Crawley, on the series titled, Non-Humans Are Everywhere. But first, let's see what the Word of God says. The Word of God says in Ephesians, the 6th chapter and the 12th verse, 4, We wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world against spiritual wickedness in high places. Now, Edward Alexander Crawley, better known as Alexander Crawley, was an English occultist and ceremonial musician. He was born in 1875 and died in 1947. And he identified himself as a prophet entrusted to guide humanity into Eon of Horus in the early 20th century. And he claimed to be contacted by a supernatural entity named Alast, who was a devil who provided Crawley with the Book of the Law that served as the basis of Salima. This announced the start of Eon of Horus and declared that its followers should do what thou wilt and to seek to align themselves with their true will through the practice of magic. And in 1912, he was initiated into the esoteric order called Ordo Templi Orientis. You see, he was influenced by many sources like Buddhism, Hindu yoga, scientific naturalism, ceremonial magic, alchemy, the Kabbalah, astrology, the tarot, and more. And he wrote a book called Magic in Theory and Practice. You see, this man was a secret Satanist, a wizard, a magic, witchcraft worker, and so evil, he was diabolical. Aleister Crawley was extremely demonic, unholy, ungodly, and anti-Christian. You see, this despicable, monstrous person was immoral, an atheist, devilish, an idol worshiper, bisexual, a skillful liar, a deceiver, fake guide, diabolic author, a religious fraud, and possessed. And this extremely evil person was also murderous because he advocated human sacrifice and believed a male child of perfect innocence and high intelligence is the most satisfactory victim. And it is believed that Aleister Crawley sacrificed about 150 every year. You see, this sex magic worker was the wickedest man in the world. For Aleister Crawley did not free humans from earthly rules by opening up spiritual experiences, but instead he is sending many people's souls to hell for not following Jesus Christ, the son of the living God, because we must live according to Jesus' will and not our own will. St. John, the 15th chapter and the 14th verse says, ye are my friends if ye do whatsoever I command you. And Exodus, the 22nd chapter and the 18th verse says, thou shalt not suffer a witch to live. You see, Alex de Crawley was the beast 666 and a great false prophet, destined to hell along with all his deceived followers. Therefore, let's live according to God's word and not others and not our own. I am Prophetess Lorraine Daly Johnson. Thanks. Thanks for watching.